Welcome to this demonstration of the analytic server installation with SSL enablement. In this video, we'll walk through the steps required to install analytic server with SSL protections enabled. Analytic server actually uses the TLS protocol rather than SSL. However, the SSL term is still used in the user interface of the installer. So for simplicity, We'll continue to use the term SSL in this video. Since the 9.0 release, the install process has been streamlined so that the installer itself can automatically generate some of the individual trust stores as needed and import the necessary certificates. Before we start the installation procedure, Let's look at the components in the analytic server that can be protected by SSL. We'll discuss the certificates, key stores, and trust stores that are required. First, let's consider access to the internal API layer of the analytic server. Implementing SSL here can protect the connections between the ThingWorks adapter and the analytics microservice APIs. To enable SSL for the Analytics API layer, you will need a key store with a signed SSL certificate. You can either obtain a certificate from a trusted certificate authority or generate a self-signed certificate. We'll walk through the steps to generate a certificate when we run the installer. The Analytics Trust Store will be generated automatically by the installer, but you will be prompted to provide a password for it during the installation. When the trust store is generated, the signed certificate is imported into it automatically. Next, let's think about communication with Zookeeper. Enabling SSL here can protect Zookeeper connections to both the asynchronous microservice and the analytics common workers. To enable SSL for Zookeeper, you will need a key store with a signed SSL certificate. Again, you can either obtain a certificate from a trusted certificate authority or use a self-signed certificate. We'll walk through the steps to generate a certificate when we run the installer. In the case of Zookeeper, the trust store is not auto-generated during installation, so you will need to extract the signed certificate and import it manually into the trust store. We'll cover the steps to do this when we walk through the installation. Finally, we can also enable SSL to protect the communication between Analytics Server and the ThingWorks Server. To enable SSL for the ThingWorks Server, you will need a key store with a signed SSL certificate. Obtaining this certificate should be part of your ThingWorks installation procedure. You can use either a certificate from a trusted certificate authority or a self-signed certificate. The ThingWorks Trust Store will be generated automatically by the installer, but you will be prompted to provide a password for it during the installation. You can also opt to have the signed SSL certificate imported into the Trust Store automatically by the installer. As we walk through the installation, keep in mind that the Security Considerations section of the Analytics Help Center contains all the SSL information discussed in this video. Use the URL shown on the screen and navigate to the individual sections that provide SSL support for the Analytics APIs, Zookeeper, and ThingWorks. You can find sample commands in each section. Now let's walk through the installation procedure. We'll start by launching the installer. In this case, we'll be installing in a Linux environment using the text mode installation. Click forward on the welcome screen, accept the license agreement. We'll select all the components so we can see the SSL fields for each and accept the default installation location. On this screen, we'll configure SSL for the Analytics API microservices. Here we'll be generating a self-signed certificate, but if you're using a certificate signed by a CA, 
skip this step and just provide the certificate in the SSL key store field. To generate a self-signed certificate, open a terminal window and navigate to the JRE bin folder in your Java installation directory. Run the Java key tool command, as shown here, to generate the analytics server.jks file. Enter a password and confirm it. You are prompted to answer a series of identifying questions. Press enter after each answer. It will ask for first and last name. We'll actually use the IP address. It prompts for the organization units and name. For this demo, we'll use PTC for both. Enter the city, state, and country. Enter Y to confirm that the information provided is correct. When prompted for a key password, just press Enter to use the same password previously provided. Now if we use the ls command, you can see that a key store called analytics-server.jks has been created. Returning to the analytics installer, we can now provide the SSL key store file. Click the folder icon next to the field and browse to find and select the analytics-server.jks file you just created. Enter the password you defined for the key store. For the certificate alias name, use the alias that was part of the key tool command when you created the key store. Enter the IP address you used previously. Finally, enter a password for the analytics server trust store that will be generated automatically by the installer. The signed SSL certificate will also be imported into this trust store by the installer. Click forward. On this screen, we'll configure the Zookeeper SSL. We'll need to provide both the key store and the trust store. To generate the key store, we'll return to the terminal window. Run the command, as shown on the screen, to generate the zookeeper-keystore.jks file. Enter a password and confirm it. We're prompted to answer the same series of questions. In this case, we'll use localhost for the name parameters. We'll answer the remaining questions with the same answers as before. Now, when we use the ls command, you can see that a key store file called zookeeper-keystore.jks has been created. For Zookeeper, there are some additional steps. Run the export key tool command shown on the screen to export the certificate out of the key store and create a trust store. When prompted, enter the key store password. Now, the ls command should show both the key store and the zookeeper.crt file. Finally, use the import key tool command shown on the screen to accept the certificate into the trust store. Enter the key store password. Enter yes to trust the certificate, and you can see that the certificate was added to the key store. Now, let's return to the installer. We need to provide both the new key store and trust store files. Click the folder icon next to the SSL key store field. Browse to find and select the zookeeper-keystore.jks file you just created. Enter the password you defined for the key store. We'll do the same for the SSL trust store field. Click the icon and browse for the zookeeper-truststore.jks file. Enter the password you defined for the trust store. Then click forward. On this screen, we'll configure connection information for the ThingWorks server. We'll provide the local host 
and enter port number 8443. For the ThingWorks app key, we'll need to switch over to ThingWorks Composer. Copy the application key and paste it into the app key field. If you plan to use the analytic server for anomaly detection, select this checkbox. Since we're discussing SSL, we'll select the Use SSL checkbox. For ThingWorks SSL, the truster will be generated automatically by the installer. If we select the checkbox, Upload ThingWorks Certificate File, the ThingWorks Certificate will also be imported into the Trust Store automatically by the installer. Note, however, you can also download the certificate from a browser or wherever the ThingWorks server is installed and import it manually. So, we need to click the folder icon next to the ThingWorks Certificate field and browse for the certificate. This is a PEM certificate file that was created when the ThingWorks server was configured for SSL. Then enter a password for the Trust Store that will be created automatically by the installer. Click Forward. At the prompt, click Yes to update the certificate in the Trust Store. The installer verifies the connection with the ThingWorks server. If the connection is confirmed, the configuration summary page is displayed. Click Forward to start the installation. It might take a few minutes for everything to install. Toward the end of the installation, the Analytics Server API key is displayed. It's a good idea to copy this key and save it somewhere. Then click OK. When the installation is complete, click Finish. If the installation summary page is displayed, click OK to close it. To ensure that the installation was successful, let's switch to ThingWorks Composer. We can browse to open the Things page. And we see all the analytic server things that were just created. Let's click the data thing to open it. We can see a message at the top that the thing is connected. So our installation was successful. Thanks for watching this demonstration of the analytic server installation with SSL. Check out the Help Center for more information.